You are watching Pat Whitaker, captain of the bait boat Manana at Santa Rosa Island, marking squid. Not a lot there, but enough to scoop. Big moon in the background. Squidly diddlies. Oh, not too care of that. There goes that rail. You know, it's important we realize what goes into providing live bait for all of you. In this case, it'll be live squid at Catalina Island shooting for Friday. Rough weather, staying up all night long, losing your bait pump, and having to buy another one for $2,000. Just part of the adventure. Only an hour or so from Oxenard Phil. Get in there, get another pump. Go do it again. On the native sun out of 22nd Street Landing sport fishing. Try to catch some sand bass and... Get into some Barracuda action today. The El Patron operates out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California, and they have a slew of one and a half day trips where you'll fish with only 10 anglers on board. Bluefin tuna fishing, yellowtail fishing is outstanding in Southern California, and there's no better way to do it than on the El Patron. 310 832 or visit 22ndstreet.com. Hey, good morning, my friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. It is great to be with you all on another beautiful day in SoCal. It's a little hazy, and there's definitely quite a bit more wind this morning. In fact, I've got my back to the wind, so you're getting a little different angle. Are those surf fishing guys back there catching anything? Those guys back there are superior fishermen, and they are not around here unless they are catching. More than likely, spot fan Kroger. Well, as I mentioned, the wind is a big part of our report today because it has curtailed and really put a stop not a stop but it's definitely put a damper on some excellent fishing out there on tanner bank because the winds have been blowing and it's been downright nasty there's been guys who've made some great catches out there but there's a lot of clunkers going on right now also we need to get out of this wind and it looks like we'll be doing that around sunday ish it's going to start to come down i know jeff marklin on the Thunderbird out of Davies Locker in Newport Beach is already reporting some bluefin tuna this morning, so we'll be watching that. Of course, you saw in the lead in Pat Whitaker, the trials and tribulations of a bait boat operator. It is a tough life, but he wouldn't have it any other way. By the way, Pat tells me the weather up in the Channel Islands, the wind is out of the picture right now. There's still a lump, a swell, but that's come down also. And of course, we're going to be covering what's going on south of the border. We'll talk about this local incredible fishing this year in Southern California with calico bass and sand bass and barracuda. And also we'll be covering the islands and everything else. You know what time it is, my friends. It is time for the morning briefing. And man, oh man, I need this cup of coffee this morning. Good morning, my friends. Oh my God, is that good. So good. We got a lot to cover with you. First of all, let me make mention to you that there's just a few more spots left on our day and a half trip on board the Horizon out of H&M Landing in San Diego. That's sailing on August the 15th. And if you want to go, you've got to send Captain Bill Wilkerson a text or give him a call 619-985-5179. You also saw the El Patron on the lead in. We were pushing their Saturday day and a half trip, but I believe that trip is completely full but you can always check with 22nd street landing to make sure and also we are really thankful to a dear friend of mine and i haven't given him a shout out for a while but joe gallagher joe tunes in every single morning from gallagher staging and the reason well besides the fact that you're a great friend of mine joe but the real reason is because joe really helped us store all the items that we sent to cedros island thousands of pieces of clothing to people who are really poor, who really needed our help on the other side of the border. And Joe, we couldn't have done it without you, so I wanted to send you my thanks and tell you how deeply we appreciate it. All right, let's jump across the border and talk about what's going on in Ensenada. And down there in Ensenada, the tuna bite has been off. It's been very, very difficult. We're seeing that influx of Dorado and yellowfin tuna, but not in any great numbers. Some yellows on the kelps also down there, but pretty tough fishing for the most part offshore thank god that the inshore fishing has been absolutely marvelous this year same thing up and down the coast in fact 
way down the Baja coast. I hear long range guys who had some slower fishing at Alijos Rocks went into the beach catching giant barracuda and bass and so much more. So it sounds like the coast from northern Baja all the way up is just alive with life and it is so great to see that. We've been seeing some superior bass fishing down in Ensenada, both calicos and sabers. There's a lot of barracuda. There's occasional yellowtail, occasional halibut. It's been good local fishing around Punta Banda area, that rugged, pristine, beautiful Baja coast that I love to fish so much for calico bass. Do it with Diego Nuno, who's a deckhand on the Royal Star and does such a great job. Man, I'll tell you right now, it is on down there in terms of that local bite. Offshore is a little bit more dicey. I suspect that's all going to come together with this El Nino and this warm water that continues to flush in. And as I've been saying for quite some time, I think I'm thinking out loud that we're going to have just one ripper late summer, excellent fall, and probably push us right through January the 1st. All right, so let's get up to San Diego and talk about what's going on there. You know, the biomass of bluefin is out there on Tanner Bank, and it is impressive, let me tell you. Wow, you roll up on all kinds of beautiful, big schools of bluefin tuna, and they range anywhere from, I want to say, 12 pounds up to 200 pounds. Most of it, 12 to 25, like that. That's the grade of fish that you're catching. And during the daytime, at times, that fish is really good, biting nails. You're fishing 40-pound fly lines. Sometimes you sinker fishing. But it bites the heavy really well. And then other times, it's super finicky. you got to drop that fluorocarbon down, down to about 25 pounds. That will really do you well. Opposite fluorocarbon is a great way to go. As the wind is really starting to pick up here, it's got to be got to be a good 12, 15 knots here right now. It's starting to blow pretty good, and I hope my mic is not picking up too much of that. But once again, out there on Tanner, we're seeing that different grade of fish. You need different kinds of tackle, you, and especially that lighter stuff, because when it's finicky, that's how you're going to get a bite. And, of course, and I know I drone in on about this too much, but choosing a good hot bait, changing that bait regularly, unless your crew's saying, hey, long soak. Leave that bait soak a lot longer. Talk to your crew. That's always an admonition I give to each and every one of you, so keep that in mind. And that will really help you a lot. Sometimes you have to drop your hook down to a number four. Sometimes all those little things, those little factors, will equal more hookups for each and every one of you. At night, with this wind and weather, it's been tough. And you've got to fish at least a 400-gram jig. Once this weather comes down, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look great, you're going to go back to that three to 400-gram lure with 200-pound leader material, 100 to 130-pound spectra. And that'll do you really, really well. But it's been nasty out there and still quite breezy, even though, as I mentioned, Thunderbird is on some fish today. Hopefully, we'll start to come out of it. Pegasus is on a two-and-a-half-day trip out there. We'll be following them all day long today also. So that's your basic situation there. If we look at the Coronado Islands, the other day on the Mission Bell, they had a couple of yellowfin at the islands. Decent yellowtail action there and bass and barracuda and whitefish and sheepshead and all that razzmatazz at that island also. So we'll continue to monitor that for you very closely. Now, as we take a look at the rest of the island, San Clemente Island, kind of okay. I mean, there's a lot of sea lions that mess up the yellow bite, but you can normally get from 10 to even a little bit better than that, 20, 25 yellows on a sport boat over there right now. Surface iron fish, fly line fish, both those methods are working very well at San Clemente Island. And then also, you know, you can fill in with some really good bass fishing at times. And a lot of good sheep's head and whitefish, depending on the day and whether those things want to bite or not. It's been pretty good. Catalina Island, a few yellows there. Pretty good bass fishing, especially private boaters have been doing really great on the calico bass. And that's when you're going to drop that line test down. Remember, that lighter line on calico bass, whether you're fishing local or you're fishing an island, can really help you. If it's a tough bite, you drop that mono or that fluoro down, I should say. WWW, Opson. USA.com. Put in FA at checkout. Drop that down and that will help you a great deal. I guarantee you that. So keep that in mind. Now, Channel Islands. Whoa! We saw some clonking up there. Really wide open white sea bass fishing. Three fish limits per rod were not out of the question. The Endeavor, the new Hustler, 
Mirage, all those boys up there were having great fishing. And you throw in a ton of halibut to go with it. Pat Whitaker's making squid up there. So that magnet, the squid that attracts those predators, is still there. and still a very viable area. The wind has come down. We haven't seen much anything going on up there for the past few days. And the reason why is because of the wind. It's been too nasty, too rough. So now that's starting to come down. Perhaps today we get a score. I mean, there's a lump, so you can catch it in that. It's the wind that really screws everything up. And it looks like subsequent days tomorrow and the next day should be very productive. Been mostly dropper loop up there, live squid, six-ounce torpedo. And, of course, you back that up with some of the best rock fishing you'll ever see. Channel Islands, still really, really good. We get you to the coastal regions. And as previously mentioned, we're seeing great barracuda along the Baja coast and all the way up to this neck of the woods. There's some barracuda still around. There's some sand bass fishing that's incredible. Calico bassers. You saw our buddy Nick Ramirez heading out on the native sun. Fingers crossed that they're into the fish right now. And it has been spectacular. San Diego area, we continue to see some really good calico bass fishing in that neck of the woods. Best bass bite I think we've seen in decades down there in that neck of the woods. And also, we continue to see a little bit of barracuda, occasional big yellowtail, moving you up to the Dana Point area, similar kind of fishing, some really good calico fishing going on in that neck of the woods. And then you get up here to the L.A. Orange County area. There's a bunch of nice kids are walking up here. You get up into that neck of the woods, and, man, that sand bass fishing has been fantastic. It's been Really, really good. We see a lot of good sand bass, calico bass, some of the best we've seen in many years. It has been off the hook fishing. Shelly Phelps on board the Victory said, best bass fishing I've seen in decades. It really has been quite good. Drop her loop with a chovy, and you're on a sand bass just about as quick as you can think it is possible. Native Sun, Monte Carlo, Enterprise, Victory, I know I'm leaving guys out, but it's been fantastic. Freelance, Davies Locker, great fishing going on on the local scene. Can't get a whole lot better than it is right now. And the Barracuda Bite, while it is starting to wane a little bit, it's still pretty good. Surface iron, perhaps the best way to take those fish. So keep that in mind. That has been really, really good. And this bite extends up into the Channel Islands where our friends on the island spirit, Cody Rogers has been doing pretty good on a mix of calico sand bass, some barracuda, fish like that continuing to bite up there in that neck of the woods. By the way, Island Spirit, 805-676-3474. Don't forget, Sunday, you can fish for free if you're 12 years and under with a paid adult on the Californian out of Ventura Harbor Sport Fishing. On the beaches here, we continue to see some excellent Corbina fishing waters up to 70 degrees right now so that is really producing some great fishing and as i mentioned those guys down there they're really super good surf fishermen talk to them all the time they're probably on spot fin digging up sandworms in the surf is one of the best ways to take those spot fin sand crabs also there's a lot of yellowfin croaker they love to bite on a three-quarter ounce casted uh, crocodile lure that works really really well on those there's a little bit of halibut around and man i gotta tell you fishing while it's taking a little bit of a slide backwards it's all because of the wind and we're going to be right back in and i'm really curious to see what all of this great wind and weather when it gets away what we're going to have because who knows maybe some more albacore maybe that yellowfin will finally slide in here in mass and maybe we'll see that big wall of dorado show up don't forget also we have a trip on the el patron i think we have a couple spots left they booked up fast and that one is on September the 15th. So there's the details on it. Send me a text. I'll book you on there. And we'll see you on that one. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then August the 15th, as uh, I mentioned to you, it's a great trip on the horizon out of h and I hope you can join us for that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tick the bell. You'll be notified when there's new content. And also we're on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, what else are we on? TikTok. And, of course, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcast. Hey, I hope you're having a great day. It's a little windy. The wind's starting to back off now all of a sudden. Kind of gusts, and then it backs off. And hopefully out there on Tanderbank, that wind's going to lay down, and the boys will get back to some conking. Been difficult because of the weather here recently, but high hopes that it's going to turn around really, really soon. Have a great day. As always, it's wonderful to start my Friday morning or any other morning with you, and I hope to see you really, 
really soon. Take care, my friends.